There's a new email scam out there that may be sidestepping your antivirus filter. The Fox 5 I team's Dana Fowl tells us what it is and more importantly, how to avoid it. Dana. Yeah, your antivirus filter is pretty good at catching suspicious documents, but this one seems to have created a real workaround by burying itself in other things. A computer security software company called Sophos Labs explains that it's ransomware hidden inside a work document that's hidden inside a PDF, and that's what this means. It's a lot like Russian nesting dolls. You get the spam email, but in it attached as a PDF. You open it because your virus filter didn't flag it because the bad stuff is buried inside. Then you get this Word document and you're asked to enable editing. And when you do that, you unlock the attack. And now your data is being held hostage and you'll be asked to pay a ransom to have it unlocked. Now, according to the folks at Sophos, if your system is backed up, you are in a better position to say, no, I'm not going to do that because you can take your computer to an expert and get it sorted out. But too many people do pay. That's why this is so successful. And here are some ways to protect yourself. Back up and often and keep your computer system back up off site, like on an external hard drive. Be cautious of any unsolicited emails with attachments. Just delete those. Patch early, patch often, which means keep your software updated. A lot of updates are in place to patch the system weaknesses that allow viruses in. And that is the latest ransomware warning. A lot of it to keep up with, but it's on our website, fox5atlanta.com, if you want to go ahead and watch this again. Elise? So, Dana, this is a pretty good reminder not to click on emails from people you don't recognize their names, right? Yeah. Well, even if you do, mm -hmm. listen. Don't be fooled by those. Let's say your friend sends an attachment, an email with an attachment, and you aren't expecting that and doesn't make sense. Write her in a separate email and ask about it before you open it. I've done it. It works. It's been a scam, spam, a virus, something for me before. Worth taking that step to avoid becoming Absolutely. a victim. Absolutely. Sure. Just one quick step. All right, Dana, thank you for the help this morning. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it.